My wish list is to have like a nice big screen. I can see the map, the streets. I don't see the street name. So as I'm going through and I'm sitting on the train, or if I'm out and I just want to, you know, quickly read something, it's a lot easier to see it. I prefer a small size that I can put it in my pockets. When I'm running around with my dog and my groceries and whatever else I'm carrying, I need to have a phone that can just easily go in any pocket. I want a phone that's advertised waterproof, shockproof, dustproof. Complete sunrise, you know, or com a complete sunset, you know, and not have to have it on this little thing, you know, that'd be really nice. Trying to take the panorama, and I'm just holding it and holding it, and I start shaking and it messes up the photo. Because every time you drop it, the glass breaks. Yeah, I broke my glass, and the $200 to fix it. If I could find a phone of this quality, I promise you, I promise you, I buy it in this instant, now myself. Well, good afternoon, everyone, and a very warm welcome to the LG G6 Day here in Barcelona. Thank you all so much for being here, and of course, those who are joining us from around the world watching on our live stream. My name is Georgie Barrett. I'm a London-based tech journalist and broadcaster, and it's my absolute pleasure to be your MC for what is going to be a brilliant afternoon as we introduce the new flagship smartphone, the LG G6. Thank you. OK, so to kick off uh, LG G6 Day, I am very honoured to introduce a special person to you all. Please warmly welcome Mr. Song Jin Jo, the Vice Chairman and CEO of LG Electronics. Thank you for that introduction, Georgie. Good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. As CEO of LG Electronics, I'd like to thank all of you for joining us here today for the official unveiling of LG's latest flagship smartphone. I am delighted I could be here with you. Let me give you some background on my history with LG. I started my career as a washing machine engineer and have been in the home appliance business for the past 40 years. Through sustainable innovation, differentiated technology and design. LG is now widely recognized as one of the world's finest home appliance brand. I'd like to extend this strategy to LG's other businesses based on a similar blueprint, blueprint of innovation and success. Our mobile business serves as an essential link to the other vital part of the Industry 4.0 era. I will make it a high priority to turn our mobile business around and we will spare no effort in providing our customer with the quality product they deserve with the feature they desire most. I look forward to your continued interest and support. So now, let me turn the stage over to Mr. Juno Cho. As head of LG's mobile business, I'm sure he's eager to tell you more about the LG. Thank you again. Yeah, 
Okay, such an honor to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. And thank you everyone for coming to LGG Six Day. Now that first video was really interesting because it was showing what people wanted out of their future smartphones. Yes, exactly. Last year, I learned a meaningful lesson, both as an executive and as a consumer. Meeting the consumer's needs is the beginning and the solution for any innovations. We want to deliver a modular design with LG G5, and we are still proud to have made that effort. But now, things are different. Expectations change. Demands evolve. The race over hardware spec is almost over. The new competition will be about usability. That's why we really try to learn more from you, our customers, especially about your wishes and concerns about smartphone. So what did you find that people wanted from their smartphone? Well, what you saw from the data is that consumers are so much more intelligent about smartphone now. They are now all just looking for the fastest AP or flashiest designs. Today's smartphone customers want a device that offers innovation, but also get the essential fundamentals right. There has to be a balance between core elements and new technologies. We also learned, as you see in the visuals in here, consumers wanted a bigger display, but not a bigger phone. So I'd love to know how LG met those almost contradictory needs of wanting that big screen, but also wanting to be able to keep it in one hand the whole time. Well, that's very uh, a challenging industry question. It would have been impossible with a conventional approach, but it is possible if we change the form factor itself. Of course, that doesn't apply only to exterior design, but down to every detail, including the phone's basic structure. For that reason, I feel confident saying that uh, LG G6 is the next generation smartphone that consumers have been waiting for. Well, the anticipation is killing me. Mr. Joe, please do the honors. Let's show the world the G6. Sure. Ladies and gentlemen, please meet all new LG G6. Well, there's no doubt about it, the G6 looks stunning. If you had to sum it up in just one sentence, how would you sum it up? Well, it's another difficult question. I would say the G6 offers a big screen that actually fits in your hand. I've, I've got quite little hands as well. Oop. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's really, really nice. So how are you thinking of positioning the G6 in such a competitive smartphone market? Mm. Well, in this dynamic field, the G6 truly stands out as the first smartphone with a large screen that we are calling 
full vision. With a full vision display, the G60 will open a new era of immersive viewing experience to users. We look forward to our new approach becoming the mainstream in this market and expect other players to join us. The year 2017 will be a meaningful year for phone factor changes in smartphones. Well, you've already got off to a really good start. And just holding it, it's incredibly impressive how the G6 fits into my hand, but yet still has this really expansive screen. It sure is. As you know, if manufacturers focus too much on flash looks, they risk losing out on usability and reliability. I completely agree. It also has this beautiful minimal design, but still feels really solid and firm. That's because we prioritize reliability above all else so that our customers could use the smartphone without any concerns or limitations on how they should use it. Also, since we paid close attention to details in our pursuit of perfection, we are certain that users will feel the same way once they get their hands on it. I'm sure everyone here can't wait to get their hands on the G6. Do you have anything else to add before we wrap here? The innovation LG has shown today does not apply just the G6, but also to future lineups we are going to introduce. Therefore, at the end of the day, the consumers will experience the uniqueness of LG smartphone based on LG Mobile's true identity. So, please keep an eye on us. We certainly will. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'd like to thank you all for coming today. I hope you enjoy the rest of your time in Barcelona. Thank you very much. Thank and you, thank you Mr. Joe. Thank you. Thank you. So, now it's time to move on to the G6 story. Our hands haven't changed over time. And the role of a smartphone, to have a big screen that also fits comfortably in your hand, has not changed either. Designed with that core essence in mind is the G6. Both screen and phone benefit from the subtlety of unifying lines. The metal frame gives a solid firmness you can tangibly feel. Needless protrusions are eliminated with the camera flush to the body for a seamless design. The naturally curved rear cover glass nestles into the hand in three distinct colors capturing nature. Even more astounding, all this comes with a full vision display and perfect aspect ratio, giving you a big screen that actually fits in your hand. LG G6. I would like to welcome two special guests who will tell us more about the LG G6. Please give a warm welcome to our very distinguished panelists. I would like to invite onto the stage Andrew Coughlin, business leader of LG Electronics Northern Europe, and he Ian Huang, director of the product planning team from LG. Georgie. Nice Good to, to see, see you, again. Andy. Hi, Thank Ian. You. Please take a seat. Thank you. So every year, LG always comes up with a new concept. What are they bringing to the table this year? Well, it's the full vision display. And when designing the phone, it was our primary focus, as well as the elimination of unnecessary details, of course. Well, let's start with talking about this full vision display then. Um, why has LG put it at the heart of the G6? Until now, the display was just one of several elements. But we realized that display should be more central than just a simple design element. According to a recent study, the average consumer spends nearly half a day staring at a screen. And we are now spending more time with our phones than with our significant others. <laughs> so 
going screen centric is kind of a back to basics approach. We want bigger screens because bigger screens give us the most expensive visual experience. Mm. And with multitasking becoming more common as more people do more things at the same time, it's natural that consumers want their smartphone screens to be bigger. Especially when it comes to using social media, watching videos, or playing games, the bigger screen provides more convenience and greater immersion. It simply doubles the pleasure of the experience. The LG G6 is a 5.7 inch display phone that provides new visual experiences to consumers and caters to their needs. So it's the full vision is at the center of the design. I have to say, I have to have a large screen when I'm out and about, especially if I'm doing work on the fly or having to edit simple videos on my phone. It's really, really important for me. Exactly. It's becoming less of a preference and more of a necessity. Large display devices have been popular in the US, and now we can see that they're gaining popularity in Europe as well. The share of large display devices jumped nearly twofold in just two years. It's quite staggering and 69% of smartphone users answered in this recent study said that a larger screen is really important for them. However, there is a little bit of a tension there, isn't there? Because people want the big screen, but they also don't want something bulky that they're putting in their pocket. Right, uh, and that's the challenge. People want bigger screens, but they also want smartphones they can slip into a pair of skinny jeans. These days, I, can, I think you would look good in them. I can imagine it. You are too sweet. Um, so this is a catch-22 situation. All along, the smartphone industry has emphasized that we have to be able to hold the phone with one hand. Previously, we thought that was the only trend. But larger phones came along in defiance of this trend, and they gained popularity. So now we have a clear idea of what consumers really want, a big screen, that actually fits in one hand. That's exactly it, isn't it? And that's what Mr. Cho introduced the G6 as a new generation of smartphones. Exactly. Until now, to meet the contradictory demands of consumers, manufacturers came up with two options, a small phone with a small screen and a large phone with a large screen. What we have come up with this time is the best of both worlds, a 5.7-inch full-vision display in a compact 5.2-inch body. Ian just made a really interesting point there, didn't he, Andy? Yes, indeed. The G6 has the biggest screen amongst the same size devices in the market. And it's the most compact device amongst gadgets with 5.7-inch displays. And that's a pretty compelling combination. So we have the big screen, but in a compact form. I'm curious to know, though, why 18 by 9 ratio? Well, I ask the same question. And it's called Univision. It's not yet widespread. However, as the name implies, it's an attempt to unify the current widescreen HD standard with the theatrical release standard of film. And actually, this idea was founded by three-time Oscar-winning cinematographer Vittorio Storaro. And I'm very honored today to invite Mr. Storaro to join us on the stage to tell us more about the importance of 18 by 9 Univision and why it matters today. Well, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Storaro. Thank you for coming. Thank you for the introduction. It's great to meet Thank you. Thank you very Pleasure. much. Pleasure. Good morning, John. Hello, how, how are, are you? you? Nice to Thank see you. Thank you, everyone, for inviting me. <laughs> Please, take a seat. <coughs> yes. um, as Andy just mentioned, you founded this theory of Univision. Can you elaborate a little bit more about what it means? Well, <coughs> in Latin, it uh, means unique vision, and it is the use of 18 by 9. Visual art is a specific space to express itself, but with our eyes, we see a full 180 degree. We have too many formats in the film industry, and they change according to the w where the film is being shown, which changes the composition, the image, and ultimately changes the film. For instance, when we did the film The Conformist with Bernardo Bertolucci, we used the French panoramic format, 1 to 166. But in many other parts of the world, the film was shown in 1 to 185, which chopped it at the top and bottom. 
So one day I was lucky to live in Italy because I, I see the Leonardo da Vinci Last Supper in Milan. Such a great emotion. It was so perfect in equilibrium. So I asked the measurement, the painting, and it was exactly two to one, 18 by nine. I dreamed that cinema will use this perfect composition and that it will be the only one. In 1998, while I was filming Tango with Carlos Aura, I changed the aspect ratio of the camera in two to one. And I made the transfer to video in 18.9. From that moment on, I did every movie with this system called the Univision, and I refused any other movie with a different format. Brilliant. Could you describe how this 18 by 9 ratio will specifically benefit smartphone users? Well, compared to the conventional 16 by 9 ratio screen, the 18 by 9 screen is longer and narrower. Viewer will have a more immersive experience while watching a movie while holding the device horizontally. I believe 18 by 9 will become a standard aspect ratio for all media content in the not too distant future. I really believe it. Why is it necessary for LG to adopt this common aspect ratio? Well, it, once again, 18 by 9 eliminate the need for cropping and manipulating on film. It fit a desired screen. It let audience see film exactly as they were composed by director and cinematographer. Is to see image exactly the same way in any media, cinema, TV, smartphone, etc., etc., and it has become a reality thanks to LG. And believe me, uh, it's like uh, having cinema and LG. But today they get together, 18 by 9. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. Victorio. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> and believe me, we mainly this this for you. Thank you. Thank you. So it's great to really understand why 18 by 9 and full vision display makes watching movies and playing games so much more realistic. No argument from me there. The G6 is the ultimate entertainment device. The expansive screen provides a better than ever viewing platform. But to really enjoy the G6's big expansive screen, you need to have high quality content that is optimized by the new 18 by 9 screen ratio. Is that kind of stuff available yet, Ian? Sure thing. Many apps at the Play Store are being made compatible with the 18 by 9 ratio. Also, the streaming services like Amazon are increasing their content in 18 by 9, and the G6 native media player has a zoom mode that converts any content in the phone to the new 18 by 9 aspect ratio. So now users will be able to enjoy almost every content they currently enjoy. Now, in the G6 upgraded 18 by 9 ratio. So it really does work with everything. Let's talk image quality, because that is just as important as the screen when it comes to creating that really immersive viewing experience. How has the G6 got spectacular image quality? Well, these days, everyone is watching video on their phones. So the G6 supports Dolby Vision and HDR10, imaging technology that previously you only saw on HD TVs. Now you'll be able to enjoy videos with incredible high dynamic range images on smartphones just as you can on TV. So now I'd like to introduce our partner who can explain that a little bit better than I. Please let me introduce Mr. Giles Baker from Dolby Labs. Thank you. Thanks Thank you. for coming. Thank you. Welcome, Giles. Thanks Thank for coming. You. Giles, thanks nice so much you. for joining us today. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Um, can you explain a little bit more about what Dolby Vision brings to the G6? Yeah, I'm happy to. So I'm proud to say that the G6 is the first smartphone on Earth to support Dolby Vision. And Dolby Vision sets a new standard for the mobile viewing experience with dramatic imaging that brings entertainment to life before your eyes. Only Dolby Vision can provide this astonishing image quality because we work with everyone involved in bringing you entertainment. 
content creators, streaming services, and of course, device makers. So now with LG and Dolby Vision, you're bringing a big screen experience to a device that fits in your hand. That's brilliant. However, is there much Dolby Vision content available? And also, will Dolby Vision complement that expansive 18 by 9 ratio of the G6? Well, the exciting thing about Dolby Vision is how it pulls you into the story. And the G6's full vision display will make that experience even more immersive. Also, about content, there are already 90 feature films and more than 100 original hours of TV programming in Dolby Vision available to stream to TVs. And I'm happy to say that here at the show, both Netflix and Amazon are announcing that they will stream in Dolby Vision to mobile devices, starting with the G6. Amazing. Giles, thank you so much for talking about what Dolby are bringing to Thanks the G6. Thanks for having me. Cheers. Thanks, thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> OK, so we've learned that the G6 allows you to watch video content with perfect clarity. But let's not forget a very important other form of entertainment, video games. That's right. And actually, I'm very, very pleased to announce today that we will be offering over $200 worth of in-game content from Google Play to G6 buyers. Incredible. So talk me through what that offer actually means. So when you buy an LG G6, you get in-game content for six games. And you can try the trial versions of these games at smartphone stores and see just how immersive the 18x9 full vision display really is and how comfortable it is to play games with just one hand. Perfect for when you're on the go. I, for one, can't wait to play Temple Run 2 on the G6, as that is probably one of my favorites. Spookily, speaking of which, <laughs> we also from Imanji Studios. Imanji Studios are the makers of the mega hit games Temple Run and Temple Run 2, which have now been downloaded over a billion times all over the world. How exciting. Well, please, ladies and gentlemen, join me in welcoming Mr. Walter Devons. Hi, hi, hi. Hey, it's great to be here. Thank you. OK, so as a big fan of Temple Run, it firstly is a real honor to meet you. But I want you to tell me a little bit more about how this partnership with LG came about. Well, it's meaningful as LG just introduced the full vision display on the G6. And we're introducing the biggest and most exciting update to Temple Run 2 ever, the lost jungle for the big screen. So this is the first time we're going to see this new game. Exactly. The LG G6's full vision display really takes advantage of the new Lost Jungle, which is inspired by the lush jungles of Southeast Asia. Because it's easier to play as you can see more the lush green world and the obstacles, like our brand new, huge, giant demon monkey. <laughs> and I thought Temple Run was always easy to play, but using the G6, I realized how much easier it is to play with one hand. It really makes sliding along the new vine with our two runners in the Lost Jungle much easier. So the G6 is really opening up a whole new era for smartphone gamers. Absolutely. And the good news isn't over yet. In celebration of the LG G6 and our brand new Lost Jungle World from Temple Run 2, we're going to exclusively offer the G6 game collection of $49.99 on Google Play, which is a vault of 650,000 coins. And if I'm correct, that's enough game currency to unlock all of the Temple Run characters. That's right. This deal will allow G6 owners to unlock all of the Temple Run 2 core characters for free. And of course, there's still some coins left for power-ups. Brilliant. I cannot wait to explore the Lost Jungle. Walter, thank you so much. Thanks. And everyone, keep running. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Thanks. 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 So the G6 is the ultimate entertainment device, but I assume to fully take advantage of the full vision display, LG would have had to tweak and optimize the interface and user experience. Is that correct, Andy? It is indeed correct. G6's UX and GUI provide an optimized, expansive screen experience. From the early planning stage, we were focusing on providing unique experiences to users with the balanced structure of an 18 by 9 ratio. So to show you what I mean, let's have a look at the video.
impressive artwork there. Andy, can you just tell us a little bit more about the story behind the graphics design? Yes, indeed. So, as I mentioned, from the very early stage of planning, we aim to provide users with the differentiated experience of an 18 by 9 ratio screen in graphics that are harmonized with the full vision display. And especially, we try to realize an immersive viewing experience and a stable feeling achieved through a rounded square design utilizing that 18 by 9 ratio. Not only that, the user experience must have changed too. Absolutely. Um, when it comes to the UX, we focused on enabling users to fully utilize that expansive screen. Moreover, you can also enjoy enhanced multitasking, taking advantage of the 18 by 9 ratio. You can fit about 11.3% more information into the extended screen. Yeah, you can see so much more information at a glance instead of it being cut off. Mm. Exactly. So the G6 is ready for the full vision screen in terms of content and user interface. Is there anything else? Along with them, the G6 is easy to use in many ways. In the development stage, we studied user behavior intensively and learned people use their smartphones in various situations and different postures. And whilst using their smartphones, they mostly hold the phone vertically with one hand, regardless of whether they're walking, standing up, or lying down. Uh, and I completely relate to that. I really don't walk anywhere without my phone glued to my hand. It is a permanent feature, I think. Right. And because of this, we realize that they feel uncomfortable using some devices with larger screens. Now the device is so 24-7 and widely used, unlike the past, when people tended to use their smartphones while sitting down. So not only do consumers want large screens, they also look for phones that are easy to carry, hold, and use with one hand. This is where LG G6 stands alone in terms of usability. I'm loving the sound of this claim, but do you actually have anything to really back this up? I knew you going to ask me that question. You're full <laughs> of tough questions today, Georgie. So we have an expert to tell if we really reflected these consumer voices in the G6. Dr. Andres Freivalds, Professor of Ergonomics at Penn State University. Professor, please come and join us. Hello. Professor Freivalds, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for inviting me. So we've just been discussing the G6's usability. Is that something that you noted in your research? Uh, sure. Smartphone manufacturers tend to emphasize only new technologies and new features. They think their stuff is cool. <laughs> However, as an ergonomist, I think they forgot some very basic important principles, which are comfort and usability. Therefore, we check the LG G6 from the eyes of the ergonomist. So what makes the G6 different in that case? Well, we found that G6 provides different user experiences compared to the other smartphones on the market for the following reasons. First of all, a stable grip and easy touch is very important in our current mobile lifestyle. Our study found the ideal width of the smartphone is on around 72 millimeters, and the G6 successfully makes its widescreen with an ideal ergonomic width screen size. Second, to adopt a large screen, smartphone manufacturers tend to sacrifice the bottom bezel. However, the bottom bezel is very important for hand grip and easy touch control. We found the ergonomically ideal bottom bezel for one-handed use is at least 7.5 millimeters. The bottom bezel on the G6 is 10.5, which satisfied our recommendations. Third, we found users are more satisfied with the full vision on the LG G6 for watching multimedia thanks to its 18 to 9 ratio. And this showed about 30% higher satisfaction over a 16 to 9 ratio. Last but not least, Georgie, we compared the flat display to edge displays for one-handed operation in different situations. And we found that with the edge screen, user hands felt more tired and they tended to have more unintentional touch screen errors. So consider these factors when buying a new smartphone. That's a very extensive list. And it's great to see that LG not only listened to what the consumers wanted, but also reflected that in the product that they put together. 
Yes, Penn State and Yonsei research teams were quite impressed with LG efforts, and we were very happy with the overall results. Andrew, thank you so much for coming on today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So the G6 has really responded to consumers' needs. Now it's time to get to know if the G6 heard their concerns as well. In terms of its design, the G6 does look quite different from previous LG's phones. Do you mm. agree, Andy? Yes, indeed. Um, I mentioned this before, but the focal points of the G6 was to reflect the voice of consumers. And this includes the design, which is reflecting current trends, and also includes things that consumers requested we improve. I mean, after all, people do eat with their eyes. And I assume most of you may agree the role and nature of a smartphone is to watch. So G6 has removed all unnecessary elements that subtract from the immersive viewing experience. And all four corners of the G6 full vision display are rounded. And this was added as a final touch. The display fit harmoniously with the exterior design. The rounded corners in the display also match perfectly with the graphics and UX as well. And lastly, the G6 realizes a balanced design by marrying metal and glass materials, which offer both aesthetic advantages and reliability. And in this balanced design, full vision display and other design elements are perfectly harmonized. So when you say that the G6 has removed all unnecessary elements, what do you mean by that exactly? Are you just saying that it has a minimalist design? You could say so. We minimize the bezel size and the rear camera bulge as well. And what colors does it come in? Okay, I thought you'd ask that one too. <laughs> G6 offers three different color options. Ice Platinum, Astro Black, and Mystic White. So we have this great balance between functionality and aesthetics. But one of my biggest concerns, especially about my phone, is whether it's going to get broken or not. <laughs> because the G6 is bigger, does that make it more fragile? Well, this may look like an issue, but that's why reliability was such an important consideration when we were designing full vision display. Also, as Professor Freiwals pointed out, if we focus too much on flashy looks, we may lose the core essence of the smartphone. Since users often drop their smartphones by mistake, we kept the bezel to the minimum and the metal frame and rounded corner as both a design element as well as to make it more reliable. And it's not just about reliability. Consumers more so than ever are asking, is this smartphone safe? Well, unexpected things happen, and consumers have become very aware of the smartphone safety issue. So we've taken extra safety measures for G6. To guarantee battery reliability, we have reinforced the testing process to evaluate different factors, such as penetration, shocks, and falls. And when it comes to battery reliability, LG employs standards that surpass international levels. Also, we've increased the battery capacity up to 3,300 milliampere, adding 500 more than its predecessor. Yet doing this, we still balance safety and convenience and optimize the capacity of that battery. Also, in designing a more reliable smartphone, we paid special attention to heat dispersion. To better dissipate heat, we implanted heat pipe. Heat pipes are standing thermal conductors made of copper. We also placed application processor, a main source of heat, at the center of the phone for greater heat dispersion. Also, we secured enough space between the LCD driver IC and other main heat source and the application processor to help mitigate a heat problem. The metal frame also acts as a bumper that reduces the shock on the batteries when the phone is dropped. Lastly, for the stability of the battery, you need an air gap inside the phone as well. And how life-proof is it? We carry these devices around 24-7. Let's say, what happens if my dog licked it? <laughs> well, I'm not sure we can guarantee the pet's health, but I can surely say that the G6 is not only safe, but it's also greener. The phone is made of highly greener materials, such as you can, as you can see on the screen here. The other life-proof test is dropping it in water. Would the G6 survive that? Well, in our country, Georgie, it's often a pint of beer that it's dropped into. Or a puddle. Or puddle. a puddle <laughs> when it's raining. However, consumers do not have to worry, as we've applied the IP68 standard to the G6. This means the phone is fully protected from dust, and that it'll work after being fully submerged in water or beer, Ian. 
<laughs> now, one of the hot topics regarding smartphones is AI. Is the G6 reflecting this trend? Absolutely, yes, indeed. The G6 is optimised for the Google Assistant. Let's hear now from Scott Huffman from the Google Assistant team. Welcome to the G6 day. Thanks so much for having me. I'm excited to be here to talk to you about LG and how we're integrating the Google Assistant into the G6. So tell us a little bit more about how Google Assistant works. Sure. At Google, we believe the future is AI first, and we've been investing heavily for years, building the underlying technologies like machine learning, speech recognition, and language understanding. These investments come together in the Google Assistant. The Google Assistant allows you to have a conversation with Google that helps you get things done. And because of these investments in AI, the conversation can be completely natural. Just use your voice, ask for what you need in a natural way, and the Assistant helps you. And how does it work specifically with the G6? Well, we've worked closely with LG to make sure the Google Assistant experience is great right from the moment you turn on your new LG device. The G6 has even been optimized so you can get help from the assistant when the screen is off. And we'll continue to work together to make sure users always have the latest and greatest that the assistant has to offer. To get started, you just say, OK, Google, or long press the home button to ask your question. So for example, I could press and say, what are the best things to do in Barcelona? And up comes a list of all the great attractions. Now, the Sagrada Familia, of course, is fantastic. I can tap on that to get more information. Now, using the assistant is easy, so I can even ask a follow-up question in a natural way. Here I ask, show me pictures of it. And you'll see that because I've actually been here before, I don't just get photos from the internet, I actually get photos from my own personal photo album. Now, I'd love to visit it again, so I'm gonna ask, how late is it open? And luckily for me, it's going to be open late, so hopefully I can swing by after the show. <laughs> yeah. You can also ask the Google Assistant anything that you'd expect Google to help you with, from news to recipes, even your own day, when your first meeting starts, how bad traffic is on the way home, and everything in between. Pretty impressive stuff. How many languages does Google Assistant currently work in? So we've started with English and German, and we're adding more languages over time. Thank you so much for your introduction to Google Assistant and the G6. Thank you for having me. Cheers. Thanks, Scott. Thank you, Scott. Appreciate Thank it. You. So LG has gathered consumer feedback, not only to hear about their concerns, but also their wishes as well, finding out what LG consumers really like about them. LG smartphones always include cutting-edge cameras, so there are high expectations of the G6 camera. Will they be met, Andy? Uh, yes, indeed, very high expectations, and for good reason. Camera features are core components of LG's mobile heritage that have been particularly highly rated by our customers. For example, LG's wide-angle lens that can encompass more subjects, more scenery, more people, more action, have won praise from both consumers and the media alike. We learned people love taking wide-angle shots, so we've improved it to 13 megapixel. And we've employed the same sensors for both wide and standard, standard angle lenses. The G6 camera minimizes differences in image quality. Although, to be clear, it's not a megapixel race. It's all about the picture quality that the lenses can capture. Furthermore, with G6, we can capture the moment exactly as we see them by adjusting the degree of the wide-angle lens up to 125 degrees. This is wider than the human field of vision. We also have a 100-degree wide-angle camera on the front in response to the consumer demand. Nowadays, everybody wants to take selfies and groupies. Absolutely. Sometimes I find it really disappointing, though, when you zoom in with a wide-angle camera, it then clutters the image, and it can become a little bit unclear. Um, right. That was a common issue. However, in the G6, you can see an impressive improvement on it. To help us understand more, I'd like to invite one of our partners, Michael Roberts from Qualcomm, to join us on stage. Thanks. 
Thanks for joining us. Hi. Nice Thanks to meet you, Georgie. Nice to meet you. Ian, Andrew. And thanks to the entire LG family for having me here. Absolute pleasure. So we're just talking about how the dual wide angle camera is different on the LG G6. Can you explain a little bit more? Sure. We were very excited to learn that LG was focusing on an advanced display, great camera experience for the G6. Through our close collaboration, we've worked to enable state of the art technologies in this great device. And we decided the Qualcomm Snapdragon 821 mobile platform was the ideal choice. With the addition of support for new technologies like HDR10, the G6 can now display more colors, brighter brights and darker darks, as well as a wider color gamut, thanks to the support from HDR10. Yeah, I can really see the difference between those two photos there. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. Uh, we paid special attention to help enable an outstanding and unique camera experience by creating seamless transitions when zooming in and out between the wide angle and standard camera lenses. So that sounds it's quite similar to DSLR camera. Could you show me a uh, like could you show me in action? Sure. A little demo. You bet. So you can see as you go from the wide camera into the standard camera here. Oops. We're gonna zoom. Ooh, those trans <laughs> Amazing. That's really really. No smooth. jitter at all. And does that also work with 4K video? Yes, uh, that's correct. It's also true during the 4K video capture. Um, taking this one step further, our advanced image stabilization helps to capture video so smooth you think you're using a tripod. So is this completely unique to the G6? It actually is. It's the first and only Snapdragon-powered smartphone in the market that features smooth and seamless optical zoom. You see, Snapdragon 821 is more than just a processor. It's a proven mobile platform that we can enhance with new features like HDR10 and optical zoom. Brilliant to hear. Michael, thank you so much for coming, and I hope you have a safe trip home. Awesome. Thanks, everyone. Great thank you. you. Thanks, again. Thank you. Cheers. <coughs> a camera in a smartphone is though. It's also about a convenient, convenient user experience. Can you tell us a little bit more, Ian? Yes, I did. The LG UX6 used in the G6 is designed to provide perfect previews of photos optimized for the full vision display to maximize the visual experience on the screen. We also added various UX options. Take a look at the video. Great idea. Let's take a look. Loving the look at the advanced selfie camera. I'm sure social media addicts are going to love that. Absolutely. Slash, I'm definitely going to love that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll follow you on the Instagram to see how you make use of this. Are you going to be stalking me on Instagram <laughs> and checking your music? it? <laughs> right, well, listen, Ian, Andy, thank you so much. We've got through so much today up here on stage. To sum it up, the LG G6 is a new generation smartphone. Its technology and ergonomics have been tailor-made to what you guys, the users, have said you wanted.
the design front, there is not only a huge amount of attention to detail, but it's more reliable and safer than ever before. The G6 delivers excellence in essentials and provides the ultimate in usability. In short, it represents an evolution in device innovation. Thanks, Andy. Thanks, Ian. Um, and thank you all for being here with us today at the LG G6 Day. Let's take a look at one final video. Well, I think that just about says it all. Um, on behalf of LG, Georgie, we'd like to give you a warm thank you for joining us here today. Oh, well, it's my absolute pleasure. And now, please do head on over to the exhibition area at the back to really see what the LG G6 has to offer. Thank you so much. Enjoy your rest of time in Barcelona. And then I